What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to get these camera movements in post with no plugins needed. All you need is a tripod shot where the camera's not moving. It can even be a handheld shot too if you want, but today I'm gonna be using a green screen tripod shot. Any shot will work. I'm gonna hop into Premiere, and then we're actually gonna hop over to After Effects. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You don't have to be afraid if you're not fluent in After Effects. I'm not either. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Super simple. First, make sure to drop a like down below for me so other people can find this video. I'd appreciate that. It helped my channel out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So if you can do that, that'd be dope. Let's hop into Premiere and then hop into After Effects. All right, so I have this green screen clip right here. I'm actually gonna key it out in After Effects. That's not part of this tutorial. I'm gonna put him on like a color backdrop, but I'm also gonna move him around quite a bit as well. So he's performing right there. So you're gonna need like a tripod shot like this. We're gonna add camera movement. We're gonna add all these cool types of zooms. So to get into After Effects, we just right click our clip and we're gonna click replace with After Effects composition. I have my green screened out person right here and he's on a backdrop. You can do this as well. If you have a green screen video, click the link down below. I have a video on how to actually key someone out. So make sure to watch that if you don't know how to do it. Um, and then I just have a yellow solid under here. So to do this, to create the camera movement, you can do this with any music video performance or any video. I just wanna do it with this to show you. So the first thing we wanna click is this right here. If you're not seeing this, hit F4 on your keyboard and it should pop up. And that's gonna enable motion blur. So now I wanna come down to transform and I'm going to keyframe position, scale, rotation. So instantly, let's say we have him slide into scene. Let's say he rotates down into scene. So he's up Then a few frames later, he's gonna rotate down. And let's put him at zero right there. And let's say we even have him scale up from the beginning. So he's gonna come in, boom. So we can actually have him, let's say we have him go a little bit further in the beginning. Let's say he comes a little too far and then he bounces back. I feel like it could be a little bit faster and he should be like down a little bit more. Let's delete that one. So this really just depends on the music video performance, but you can get some really cool stuff with this and then we can create another keyframe. If you want them a little bit smoother as well, if you want them a little bit smoother as well, we can select all of them and we can just hit F9 on the keyboard and it's gonna make them busy air a little bit. So they're gonna smooth out. So we see, boom, we can have it punch in quite a bit. And there we go, right there, right to there. So you can see when we play around with the keyframes, we get some cool motion blur, especially when we have the motion blur selected and it's a pretty cool effect for music videos. So if you turn on Bezier, it's gonna kind of smooth out the keyframes. Like if I put it to hundred right here, it'll make them a little bit harder. Make them bounce a little bit harder. It's up to you if whether you like them smooth or not. If you wanna play around with the different types, you can just come over to here and you can select what kind of keyframe you like. Uh, play around with these, see which ones you like, if you like them smoother, if you like them more hard stopping, just depends, but you can create all sorts of camera movements with these. And then pretty much from here, you can either just export it out from here, it'll show up in Premiere, what you did, or you can export it from After Effects. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment down below. Let me know if you guys found it helpful or what you wanna see next on the channel. Tons of other behind the scenes and I also have the green screen video where I show how I did the green screen effect for this actual music video I shot where I made the rappers miniature in the music video. So make sure to check that out. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Tyler Casey. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.